Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Shopina. So, the first question, okay. Uh, let me do my brows first. And then I will get into the questions because I'm rushing. And I'm using a uh, Hermosa setting powder to set my brows. I'm doing a natural look today. Nothing hectic. So, yeah. So come a little bit closer. Focus. This thing is dirty, and also it's finished. I have to go and buy another one. I have to go to my lane. I can't believe I don't know a uh, Hermosa store. I have to just go to my lane. The last piece of the puzzle. So when times are rough and the promises we make just seem so So I'm gonna use um focus thank you uh the gel liner and definer from signature I'm using the brown color. You guys know I don't like black. I'm using brown always. Yes, I do have a baby. I do have a child. And as a son, he's 10 years old. And I had my baby when I was 17. I know. 
<laughs> I know. <laughs> so yeah, I do have a child. I do have a child. So I'm gonna use uh, these two foundations. Okay, guys, like I, I feel like this makeup thing is repetitive. So I'm not gonna show you guys the products. I'm just gonna do my makeup and answer your questions. Because I'm using the same things. So. I've already uh, applied moisturizer on my face so I have a dry skin and I forgot to apply uh, the thing, sunscreen but it's okay the weather it's not really that hot because one thing about me I'm abusing that <coughs> sunscreen so I'm not gonna apply it today. I will just apply it later. Second question is what made you start YouTube? Love you know Gecko just had. Okay. Uh what really inspired me to start a YouTube channel is like I'm really a big fan of YouTube. Like I watch YouTubers like Bumisali, Okeyans, Otadi, Otoli, and I've been watching them I think for three to four years now. Some of them like on a room or two years now, but Bumisali can handle me again. So, uh, that really inspired me like to start my channel because Okeyans and Misali, like they're doing makeup and uh, and all of that like beauty so i was like you know what because like i love makeup i love hair i love all of this so why not why not so i was like you know what i really love what they are doing and Honestly, that time I didn't know what they were getting paid, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I had no clue. Oh, okay. So, I was like, you know what? Let me do some research. And then I did research. And only to find out, all right, man, these people are getting paid for posting these videos. So, I was like, what? This is interesting because who doesn't love men? Who doesn't love men? So I'm like, you know what? I love makeup and I really want to share also what I know about makeup and all of that. So the only thing in Amore Mkaidira is to start a channel. Because also like oh, with the live videos and all of that, I felt like uh, some people grab us not that to watch uh, the live videos. So with with YouTube is much better because like you you can just download that video and watch it when you have data or just watch the video when you have data. I like live videos and all that. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do this because it's really something that. Uh, I can do and it's really inspiring honestly so why not so yeah that's how I started my channel and I started my channel then afterwards I deleted the videos because at that time I felt like I was not ready for YouTube because YouTube is a lot of work so I deleted the videos and I do I think tomorrow and then I started again and here I am so yeah slowly but surely so we are growing we are doing well 
and it's because of you guys thank you for that so next question uh where do you reside okay uh i'm in centurion i'm in centurion yeah i'm in centurion because honestly that's that's the question where do you reside so the next question is do you consider being a club host oh honey yes yes to be honest yes guys but i feel like it's, it's, it's a lot of work because you have to go to the club drink alcohol yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's too much. I feel like it's too much, but I won't mind. I won't mind. But it's not really something long like I'm pushing towards it or like I want to be a club host. But if if I get a chance to be one, then why not? Why not? So yeah. Do you mind having to collaborate with another YouTuber? Like you and it will be nice to collaborate with you. Mm. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind, honestly. I don't mind. I don't mind. But I don't think I'm ready to do that now. So in the future, yeah. I don't mind, but I'm not ready to do the collapse now. So yeah. On days that you have no clients, how do you spend your day? Honestly, <laughs> what I normally do when I have no clients, I spend my time on on YouTube. I spend my time on YouTube watching like makeup videos, hair installation videos, um, then go to, to to TikTok and watch same things, and Instagram check uh, the makeup artists and watch their videos. And just learn like new techniques or new tricks of, of, of makeup and hair installations just to improve. And then, yeah, that's all. Like, I, I don't really watch TV that much. I'm not really a big fan of TV. I think the, the only time I watch TV is it's late, like from after six or seven hours skin time. But besides that, mm -mm. I just spend my time on YouTube to be honest. YouTube and Instagram. And yeah. And then next question, can a person depend on YouTube money for a living? Honestly, yes. Honestly, yes. like uh as i said at first i had no clue what was happening gaga youtube and all of that but i did some research and only to find out that all these people are getting paid they're getting paid and it's not really like small money it's not small money if you can watch um party this but i hope i'm saying that right uh she said it on her channel that uh chile they are youtube helped her with buying a new camera and buying a laptop and some people will be like no she's lying blah blah blah, blah. no like if you are not really into that space or like 
you don't understand what is happening then obviously you will say people are lying but if you are into that space then you won't really say such things so yes people like are, are, are making a living on youtube so yes and there's so many youtubers that like uh resigned or left their job and started focusing on their channels on growing their channels and making money on youtube so i mean if you can you can leave your job just to focus on youtube clearly you are making money you are making money you can just leave your job and just focus on youtube if like you are not really making money so yeah you can you can depend on youtube on youtube money so next question uh how is it staying with your partner full time i'm sorry i won't answer that or i can't answer that i'm sorry Next question How is marriage life? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't answer that And not because it's personal but I will share one day but <laughs> I can't answer that now. I'm sorry about that. What inspires you and motivates you in life? My son motivates me. My son motivates me to wake up every day and work. The life that I want motivates me to wake up and work. And yeah, I can say my son and, and the life that I want motivates me to work really hard. For the life that I want and for my son because obviously I gave birth to him <laughs> he didn't ask to be here I said child so I had to work hard for him to push every day I know guys like I've been blending and trust me you have to blend every chance you get blend and i'm not gonna use a blender i'm just gonna use i'm just gonna use a brush so uh my son motivates me to wake up every morning and work and to push even on days where like i feel like no this is just too much for me i don't want to do this anymore like oh this business is just too much for me or oh, blah 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 when i think about him or when i think of him I just be like no child you don't have a choice you have to work you have to work and then i will always remind myself why i started and the things that i want and things that I want to achieve so I can say my son motivates me and the life that I want motivates me and what inspires me 
as my mom to be honest the, re the reason I say my mom is I really love how how my mother's life uh, turned out from where we used to be and and where we are now so girl used to used to hustle like selling food at the taxi rank making sure that we don't sleep hungry or we have something to wear so that really inspired me and with everything that she achieved doing all of that it's really inspiring honestly it's really inspiring so I don't take that for granted so if she did all of that I can also do it for my son and do it ten times better that's what she always said to me You must always wake up and tell yourself that I will do what I did yesterday 10 times better today. Don't put pressure on yourself, but don't get too comfortable to just like, okay, this is it. I have this. No, you just have to push and push and push. So, yeah. And the next question, okay, this one, what inspired you to start your channel? Okay, the same thing. I answered that, I think. Oh, flawless, like January to December. I mean, some of us have those ugly days once in a while but as for you always looking beautiful and radiant hey man share the secret <laughs> guys <laughs> guys i'm laughing i'm laughing <laughs> me January to December. guys honestly let me tell you something On social media, we can okay, like this. On social media, we, we we share what we want you guys to see. We don't share everything. Okay, so we don't share like our crusty days. We don't share like. Uh, when like there's something bad happening we just share all the good things that are happening so but to be honest <laughs> i think Nagiba flawless and once <laughs> in a while but you won't see that because because of the pictures that I post and you'll be like, no, oh, man, this girl, this girl is always looking fly and all of that. Guys, I can spend a month, a month without makeup, looking crusty, even without makeup. I won't really say like uh, when you don't have makeup on, you look crusty, no. but I can just spend like a month, kill a crusty, kill a crusty. Like crusty and looking like a hobo. So you won't see all of that because I don't post such on on social media. So you'll think no man, this girl is always on point. No, not always on point. I'm not always on 
on point. Like now you see I'm doing my makeup, I'm going somewhere. Cause like I call my friend, I'm like friend, I've been in this house like for days. Today's Thursday, you guys won't believe it. I got here on Sunday and I didn't go out since. I just got in the house since. I didn't go out like outside. <laughs> That's my life. I can spend like the whole week without even opening that door or like to just go outside. If I open the door, I'll just open because I want fresh air in the windows. But I can spend like the whole week without going outside. That's my life. And then obviously I won't look like this. So, <laughs> yeah, I just share with you guys the days where like, I look cute. Like, now I'm gonna take pictures and you'll be like, oh my gosh, this girl is always looking cute and all of that. And the person who asked this question, like, me, me, you know me, you know me, my home girl, you know me, <laughs> you know. you know so i don't really yeah next question how did you know you were on the right path career wise to be honest guys to be honest uh I think Okay, how do I put it? How do I put it? Okay, I went to school and did uh, office administration So I got a job after that and i didn't graduate obviously because i felt like two modules and then i didn't go back because i was like no this is not this is not what i want this is not what i want because i think the whole the whole uh, the whole thing of me going to do that course was was me picturing myself in the office wearing heels all of that but are you really going to enjoy that is is it really something that you want to do no. and then while i was busy working and then like i fell in love with 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 makeup yes obviously makeup was already face beat and those ugly eyebrows but like i really fell in love with with makeup art history and i was like you know what i really love this i really love like beauty i want to be in the beauty industry so i really have to do like some research and all of that because like in Torah that you know i always want to look good not always but when i go out i want to look good and like when i when i look good i feel good so i was like you know what this is really what i want and this is really what uh like i feel like i can do it better than what i'm doing now okay so i went for that and to be honest it worked perfectly besides like uh, criticism and all of that but it, it really worked perfectly because i didn't struggle with with um with growth and and all of that and i did some research and approach monsa and asked uh hey about about products and all of that and she was so nice and she helped me throughout the journey so i was like you know what this is what i'm going to do and i told my mom that you know what i'm resigning i want to do this and my mom was very supportive but the reason i resigned is not because of 
I didn't enjoy what I was doing. I was enjoying just that like there were so many problems there and I was like, you are uh, I can't do this anymore. So and also I got sick and I was pregnant. So I was like, yo, uh, uh, I'm leaving. And then I told myself after giving birth, this is what I want to do. <laughs> and yeah, I just did. I just did it. Like I, I didn't have any doubt because like I used to pray and ask God, God, this is what I want to do. And if this is not for me, can you please guide me? Show me like the right way. And man, ah, man, you know God, God doesn't disappoint. You know that God doesn't disappoint. So I believe and I believed this this was was the right path for me and it's still the right path for me because honestly I'm doing very well and I'm not rushing I'm not rushing myself like when it comes to to like growth and all of that I just told myself this is what I love this is what I enjoy and I will just let God lead the way when it comes to, to my business I'm not gonna stay obviously and just I'm not gonna just sit and relax and say okay I'm comfortable now and just stay in, in my comfort zone but I will just keep on working hard and pushing and yeah until I get to where I want to be so with everything with all the challenges that came along the way I just knew that this is the right path because God always shows up and when it comes to guidance he always shows up so that's how, that's how I knew this is the right path for me so yeah that's how I knew and if something is not for you or if something doesn't work out you you will feel or you will know that this is not for more of the questions but the questions were just like seven or eight i'm not sure but yeah that's it from this video so thank you so much guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up i'll see you guys on my next you know